Buenas tardes, bienvenidos aquí a Francamente. Esta tarde tengo la, eh, el gran privilegio de hablar con Christian Benedict, eh, tenor de los de poder, de los poderosos, dramático eh, lituano, eh, que viene a cantar Pagliacci eh, con el Teatro del Bicentenario en esta temporada. Eh, bueno, uh, welcome to Mexico. Ben, ah. you told me this is your first time in, in Mexico. Yes, yes. It's, uh, nice to have you here. Um, Hello for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, did, how, how do you feel in Mexico? Did Mexico uh, so meet your expectations? Yeah, <clears throat> so I have a, <clears throat> a lot of friends in the United States and uh, my mommy living in Montreal in Canada. Mm -hmm. Next season I have two um, different projects in, in Canada. And they told me about that Mexico is very, very nice, interesting country. Yeah, so, And um, <clears throat> last time I sang Otello in, in Santiago, Chile, and uh, one agent came to me, uh, listened to me, and he asked me to co collaborate with him, and I said that uh, he would like to represent me in, in Mexico. I said, okay, I'm, I'm happy. So, and the um, contract came, so I was uh, very surprised. I have uh, another opportunities. I had the invitation to sing in, <clears throat> in uh, Caracay, but I chose uh, to come here. Mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in because I, I sang a lot in, in Italy, but I never been in Mexico. So I came uh, and I'm very surprised uh, uh, that this theater in Leon is very, very nice. And it's new. It's new. Because, mm -hmm. uh, because usually when you are going to Italy, There is a lot of houses, the old style and the small old style houses. So I, I really was was very surprised, and, and uh, also I um, I visit uh, first week in Mexico City. It's a huge, huge city. It's in, I don't know how many times bigger than my country, <laughs> because in, in Lithuania that all population are only three and a half million pe people. Yeah. <laughs> And our capital is the biggest city, it's about 700,000 only. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's another measurement. <clears throat> so, and then I, I, I visit Leon and I, I like Leon more than, than, than Mexico City because he's it's, it's more, 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 your size more of, like my size of city. Uh -huh. But I fall in love completely to Guana, Guanajuato. Guanajuato wow. I, I, I visit Guanajuato and uh, I call immediately my agent and say, I must back to Guanajuato in the future again. So probably we agree with uh, another soloist, uh, there is my very, very friendly, our team, that maybe between the performances we have uh, all in all maybe four, three days. I'd like to back again to Guanajuato. 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 It's, yeah. it's the hard to spell it, no? No, no, no. It's, it's <laughs> okay. I'm explaining, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, now about your, your, your work, your job. I, I like a dramatic tenor. You are the tough guy of the, mm. of the tenors, the, the yeah. heaviest part. And <coughs> this year I read you sang Sanson in the Lila, in the Marinsky yes. Theater in St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. And Otello also. That is your, your most uh, yeah, yeah, important. Yeah. Uh, role in this moment, no, in the last in the last years, yeah, yeah. in Estocolm and Grass, and you you told yesterday that you have sung also a Canyon five years ago, and that you will retake it for this uh, production in mm -hmm. in Alejandro. So your experience with Otello, with that 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 uh, strength and that uh, mm. so uh, rage of yeah. Otello, helps you to sing Canyon better mm -hmm. this time, this this new time. Yeah. So uh, the <coughs> I start my my first. Uh, teacher, professor, guide me as a lyric tenor. So mm -hmm. my, my role was uh, Nemorino, uh, Don Otavio, Cassio, no, <laughs> Alfredo. No. <laughs> so and I and uh, I always have the, the problem with high notes. And so uh, finally, one good uh, tenor, uh, Sergei Larin. He's not very famous, but quite uh, important tenor. He passed away five, six years ago. So uh, I asked him to, to, um, to work some, some special uh, uh, consultation and he told me that you are stupid tenor because you sing not your repertoire. You never will sing good because you sing, it's not your repertoire. So I started thinking about this and um, they, then it, it was a lot of 
changing in my life, then so in my, my, my private life also. <clears throat> and I uh, get an invitation 10 years ago to, to come and sing uh, audition in uh, Estonian National Opera. This is also Baltic States, it's not far away, 600 kilometers from Vilnius. So I get, <clears throat> I, go, um, I get this job, and this was, uh, it was Kanyo. Mm. So 10 years ago I, I made the debut as Kanyo, and this, is, this, war, uh, this role was as a, as a gate for the new my stuff. Uh -huh. yeah? uh -huh. Then I, I, I found that I feel very good in this role. And this is a, this is really tough role, but uh, I found that my voice that uh, sounds better than, than before. And then I get uh, I sang audition for Gergiev. I get invitation to sing uh, Carmen in Mariinsky, and then uh, I get a lot of an another another role. Also, I, I sang quite uh, lyric uh, roles, for example. Duca, it's not Gardo, no? At Gardo, so he also, also Yeah, I, I made a Gardo after Hotel, also. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's very, very interesting. I made a debut as... A, I, I remember this, this uh, season. It was tough, so I sang in, in Estonian, Lithuanian National Opera, very different repertoire. I sang Cavaradossi, Duca, Manrico, also... Uh, uh, also, <coughs> um, um, more dramatic uh, repertoire, Jose. Then but but this repertoire you are you are singing, so Otello and uh, and that, that dramatic uh, repertoire mm -hmm. uh, demands for uh, uh, from you some more strength in uh, physical strength to sing. No, uh, the, uh, in 2007, mm -hmm. I found a good tenor teacher. Uh, his name is Gianfranco Cecchile. He's a student of Mario Del Monaco, mm -hmm. uh, Marcello Del Monaco, Mario Del Monaco's uh, brother. Okay. Because Mario Del Monaco never teach, but, but uh, they, they both teach some, some, uh, some singers. We know the Pleiad of another channels who, who works uh, with the <coughs> Marcello Del Monaco. So, uh, because I, I, know, uh, I know him from, from uh, the recordings. So I get his uh, telephone, call to him and go to him, and, and we start working. We're still working, uh, maybe one time a year. So, and one time I prepared Pinkerton for, for my house, for Lithuania, and, mm -hmm. and he stopped me. And he asked the, this uh, pianist, what do you think? I think that his voice is very good for Otello. But Maestro, he's very young. No, he's not. How old are you? 35. Oh, it's, it's okay, it's very good in my age. <laughs> So I was surprised, and exactly after Pinkerton, I made the debut uh, in my in Vilnius as Carmen, mm -hmm. the new production, and it was very big success. Uh, the stage director, French stage director, uh, he asked me to, to go with him to Mikhailovsky in you know, so there's another house very good in Saint Petersburg to sing Elezar. <coughs> Mm -hmm. So, and I remember that this year I made the debut as Elezar, it's very heavy, French, mm -hmm. it's quite Otello, yeah, Alevi. 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 Uh -huh. and then Otello, the same, uh, the same season, then uh, uh, Turindu, then mm -hmm. Turandot, wow. <laughs> and uh, Ilituani, uh, also Ponchieli, very, very mm -hmm. hot uh, okay. roles. Uh, Ilituani, this is very, very interesting opera about About, about Italian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, 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 uh, from uh, Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, I, I start to see that I'm more success in uh, spinto repertoire, dramatic repertoire, than in lyric repertoire. Because I still had in my repertoire Alfredo, Duca, and I remember after my debut of, as Otello and Elezar, the director of my house invited me and says, look, mm, next uh, season I, I think that it should be better if let another tenor, let's sing Duca and Alfredo, because I think that you more successful. You went to Wagner also? Yeah, also <laughs> Wagner, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I met uh, Zygmunt, and by the way, the, my, also Lohengrin I met in, 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 mm -hmm. in uh, Marinsky last season, but the biggest role what I sang was Rienzi. It mm -hmm. was two times in Barcelona and one time in Boston. Just, uh, it's huge. What will you say to the people who will come to the, to the theater and the, on, on Sunday for ah. the premiere? Um, How can you buy them to hear you sing your canyon? Yeah, I would like to invite firstly because this is a really very nice, uh, very nice production and a very good team because uh, 
it's very different singers exactly what what we need for for the for the rules for example um, I think Kanye and other tenors sing Beppe. Also, we need good, good lyric tenor because mm -hmm. there is also, also we have fantastic Mexican baritone uh, Carlos Amador mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh, soprano and mezzo. This, this is um, also. Uh, I like the stage director. His his uh, uh, conception about this production. It's really I I I'm very happy. We work and step by step we found more and more this small details and this is very uh, very deep uh, philosophy so and uh, also conductor so this is very nice uh, production Cavalleria and Pagliacci and uh, I think that is better what 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 I what I had in in my life what I said 10 years or five years ago okay very nice toy 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 then ah thank you <laughs> thank you and so bueno eh, muchas gracias eh, continuamos en el estudio muchas gracias a Christian Benedict muchas eh, gracias buenas tardes buenas tardes